told them to take two or three days off. We were off from uh, 23rd, so 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, start getting your mind back together, start reflecting on where we are, what we're doing. 27th, come out here ready to, to get better and get a better uh, quality of play from our team. So, you know, I did that. I took three days off and enjoyed Christmas and had uh, my sister and cousins over and unfortunately wasn't able to get my kids. They all got kids now and celebrate Christmas at home and I couldn't get there. But uh, my daughter worked day in, day before and day after. She couldn't make it. But we did have my sister and cousin, her husband, and a couple players up. Uh, they couldn't get home, and uh, we fed them, had a good time, played Yahtzee. Then on the 26th, started reflecting on what we got to do better and feel good about where my thoughts are, and hopefully we can apply it as we go into the new year. Hey, Dan, it's not as if you guys don't know you can do this. I mean, obviously you've had nights where you played well, Duquesne and Eastern Kentucky and Indiana, and so, I mean, <clears throat> Well, you know, again, I, I got to do my part. Uh, I'm a part of it, obviously. So I'm going to do my part. And, and one thing uh, I, I told, uh, uh, just did my TV show or taped it, and uh, uh, I've said it, uh, my sister gave me one way of saying it, and I've said it a thousand ways, and I've always kind of said it in my life. You know, my life is, uh, I have a terrible memory. I can't remember crap. So that, that automatically helps in that you don't know what happened because you can't remember it. But my, my sister probably stated it the best. She said, uh, champions are made with uh, people with short memories. And you can't remember, you can't think about what you've done in the past. It means nothing anymore. And Mike even said it better the other day. I, I was sitting talking, had Tavion in the office. And he didn't even know Tavion was in there. He and I were talking, but I had it on speakerphone. And uh, he said, you got to tell Tavion, he's got to have the memory of a, of a goldfish. It lasts five seconds. And you know what? That's, there's a lot of truth in however you want to say it. you got to live in the presence. What's happened in the past has got to be the past. Move on. And so your next shot, and it's like I talked to Tavion. You you can't come down and manipulate the game. You got to play the game. And by by meaning, I, I say this: if if you turn down two shots or you didn't make two shots, you can't come down the next time and they give you the shot, and you remember the two you don't, and you try to drive because that's going to create a turnover. You're going to force something that's not there. And so you go back to have the memory of a goldfish. You know, you, they give you a shot, you take it. And I got to believe and trust in that. They're our best players. We got to believe and trust in that. And if we do that, I think it's going to happen. We do, we do have a good team. I know our fans will support it. There will be a few cynics. But, uh, you know, I've never been – I've never seen a happy cynic, so I'm not going to be one. Uh, I just wanted uh, these young men to give me their best shot. Go out there, play the game as it should be played, and we can live with it regardless. And I, I also one of the one of the things I'm saying to them is that you know if you're afraid to shoot the ball because you're going to miss it, you're afraid you're going to miss it, then you're going to be afraid you can make it. To be you'll be too afraid to make it. So I, I just think that's a, a great philosophy. If you're afraid you're going to miss, then you're too afraid to make a shot. You can't be that way. Have the memory of a goldfish. Shoot it. You know, we got to live with it one way or the other. Hey, Dan, what do, you, what do we know about Louisiana Tech? It seems like they're playing pretty good ball lately. The Lawson kids having a really good season. Just what, what do you see on tape when you, when you get to preparing for this team? Well, they obviously present two or three situations we got to prepare for that are difficult. Uh, he's very good. He's got a lot of confidence from this summer. He represented 19 and under for the national team. He's got a lot of confidence in his game, and he's a low. He's good. So we got to make his performance manageable for us to win. Now, being manageable means that we have to do well on our offensive end because you're not going to stop him every time. He's a good player, but we got to keep it within 
manageable distance. Um, but they, he's not the only player they got. They got several very good guards. Or, uh, they're uh, not big after you get out of uh, Lawton, but uh, they're, they're quick. Uh, they got some three-point shooting. They, they ring the three-point line, and then he's the force in the middle. So uh, got some complications defensively, but, uh, you know, you want to concentrate on that. You want to have a plan for it, but at the same time, you better work your other end down on the other side because you're going to need it to get over because they got enough weapons. They're going to be pretty good on offense regardless. So we got to be good on offense, efficient defensively, see if we can't come away with a tough win. They don't lose at home. I think last year we were the only team that beat them at home the entire year. So they're not – it's a tough opening, but uh, one I look forward to going. I don't – go up and down with one win or one loss. You know, that happens in, in basketball. Sometimes you have a, like a little streak that we've had. But uh, I believe in our young men, and I believe that uh, by the end of the year, we'll be playing our best. We haven't lost anything yet. Uh, we'll get into the tournament, and you win the tournament. And uh, I think it was a good lesson from that was NC State the year they won it with Val Vanna. I think they were barely over 500 when they went in and they end up winning the NCAA title. So everything's still out in front of us. We got to get our game up to that type of uh, play. I know you just finished talking about having the goldfish memory, but if you look back at some of the games, uh, first half of the season, the Wright State game in Indiana in particularly, there was, there was a big man that in both those games gave you guys a lot of trouble. Going up against Lofton, were there any lessons you guys can pull out of that to, to maybe apply as you get into conference play here, particularly with Lofton? Well, we, we switched our defenses since then. So uh, we were down, we were a down team, uh, forced baseline. Now we're a switch everything team. So if that's learning, uh, uh, you know, when I did the, the kind of the way we played defense prior to this was one that I kind of created when the game was played mostly old school. In other words, he had a center, probably didn't come out from the, he always ran to the block. Probably had a power forward that shot okay, but really didn't spread the floor. They didn't use the, the spread floor as much with the power forward. Now, uh, the team that when we came in, the way we played offense is the way teams are all playing it now, even at the college level. There's a few still the other way, but most of them spread out. So, in order to uh, uh, try to uh, modernize our, our defensive things, we've gone to switching everything. I think that's where the game is going. And so uh, the big people that we guarded the way we guarded it earlier in the season won't be the way we guard this, this game. However, at the same time, there's a problem there. And it will be a problem whichever scheme of defense you have. And we just have to be more efficient on how we're going to guard it. And uh, hopefully the, we'll carry that down to La Tech when we go. That might be too much. That might be too much information. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, okay, Coach. Overall, as you get ready to start conference play, you look at the standings. It's very tightly packed. There's not really one outlier on the good or the bad side. So, what's been the message to your team so far in like the first couple of days back about like now you're really getting to the tough stretch of the season and there's not really one team breaking away from the rest of the pack. You know, I hate to uh, to bore you with this, but I got the memory of a goldfish. I don't know. We're going to play La Tech. That's all I know right now. And you know what? We're going to go and make sure we're ready to play. When we leave there, we're going to go play Southern Miss. And all the things, and I know it's important because I want the fans to enjoy it too. And a lot of that stuff that y'all write is important to the game. And it makes the game fun for a lot of people. But for the coaches and the players, we can't get caught up in that. That's something that y'all do to enjoy the game and to make it more interesting for you. For us, we got to have the memories of goldfish and the focus of what is right now and nothing more than that. And uh, that's the way I'm going to try to be. And that's hard sometimes because all of us uh, are influenced by what you read, hear, see. There's so much at it, at it out there now. But uh, uh, you know what, I'm, I, know, I, I know for myself, I'm happiest when, uh, when 
I'm happiest when I'm in the present, not in the past and not the future, although sometimes the future's fun because you can dream big thoughts. But if you live that dream without working the day-to-day, -day, it'll never come true. So I'm going to stay with the day-to-day. -day. We got a big game against La Tech. They're a very good team. They were picked to win, win the conference. And either side, what's happened before, what's going to happen, irrelevant to this ball game. Well, uh, you know, the, that's part of my re uh, looking back at what I'm doing, trying to improve what I do with this team. And what I do may work for one team, but doesn't work for this team. And so sometimes as a coach, you have to juggle a little bit or tweak uh, the way you've done things in the past. I, I think uh, this team uh, required a tweak. I thought we should be better defensively, and we had the type of players that can play an all switch. Our offense, uh, I think uh, we have to be more concise. This team doesn't, uh, you know, you had John and, and, and Jared, and uh, for the most part, they were, uh, you know, one's a coach's son and one uh, dad and, uh, been around it all their lives. So you had two guys that had a real f different feel from what uh, uh, Andy and and Tavion and uh, the rest of the team really had. He had two really strong leaders that have been really all their life a part of basketball. These guys are more other way. So uh, I looked at it, and part of what you're saying is we're simplified. Maybe we're running too much stuff, that they're not having enough repeating of what we're doing so they can be more proficient in a narrow uh, environment than trying to spread it out and come with variety to beat people. Because we're not doing the variety as well. So we come back, try to narrow it down a little bit, have more repetitions on what we're doing. Uh, with John and, and uh, uh, Jared sometimes, the, the variety didn't bother them because they, they had a lot more uh, understanding of the, the full concepts of everything. And so now we just narrow it down a little bit and uh, partly what you're saying, that was part of the looking back at myself, at what I can do better, and I think we can bring it back a little bit, make it a little bit more simple for them, and get more repetitions in. Uh, they might expect their shots a little better uh, where they're going to be, their timing, their rhythm be better. They go down. There's got to be some reason we're not shooting the ball extremely well, and we watch. And they're good shots. They're not bad shots. They're shots that they make every day in practice. And then we seem to be losing it. So, you know, as a coach or anything else, you're searching to find that solution to help them. Uh, I can do my part, but they also got to do theirs. And, that, and I, I, all I suggested to Tavion and Andy or anybody on my players are listening, we try to define what they're – like George shoots, has to shoot a little slower than Andy. Uh, Michael Byers can shoot further out than, uh, uh, obviously, um, uh, Chase. So once you define, and they kind of know where, where they can shoot, how fast they can shoot, uh, then at, at after that, they just got to go and play. And when that opportunity presents itself within their ranges, they take advantage of them, and, and we sit there, and uh, uh, that's part of it. it like, as, like I said, uh, got to have the memory of a goldfish, buddy. Move forward. Move forward. Next one's going down. And uh, stay within what you do, but next one's going down. And that's – I believe in that in life and everything else, just, not just shooting. That's everything. Stay in the present. The past is over. Future hasn't presented itself. Stay in the present, keep life simple, do it as best you can, and live with the results. Dan, you're good, so that way, Dave, you can go. Are we done? Yep, you're done. And uh, listen, I'm not charging you for the philosophy class. <laughs> <laughs>